Greetings to the 13 tribes of Yazrael scattered in the four corners of the earth, and to the Gentiles called by the awesome fairy name of Abba Yahuwah and Loahim. This is the awesome fairy name that is above all name, eternal. Shabbat Shalom, much love and much prosperity attend you formally for you are the only reason of our time like truth because the time is simply near just as we see the days goes by so draw nigh the coming of Yahushua HaMashiach just as the Malak of Yahuwah saith unto Yehukana the revelator seal not the prophecies of this book for the time is simply near exactly what we are doing here formally decode the end times prophecies signs and dreams in preparing people like your body like your house like you for the blessed the returning of king yahushua hamashiach our eternal bridegroom to whom to you eternally our worship glory honor riches power wealth to the glory of his magnificent abba yahuwah the almighty and to the Ruach HaKodesh, to the Ruach HaKodesh, yes, to the Ruach HaKodesh, mm. to the Ruach HaKodesh, forevermore, our praises goes to the Ruach HaKodesh, eternally, our worship, our glory, our thanksgiving, Goes to the Ruach HaKodesh, to the Ruach HaKodesh, our worship goes to the Ruach HaKodesh. I love him so much. Heaven knows I'm not lying. I love him so, so much. He is my very song, as you can see. He is my prosperity, the very success I have. Longing for, he is the Ruach HaKodesh, everything I need, he is the Ruach HaKodesh, mm, the Ruach HaKodesh, he is the Ruach HaKodesh, he is my very sweet song, I love him so much, hallelujah, he is my everything, Ribu San Talabe Sekiba, Mahan Talabu Sendelebu, hallelujah, thank you Abba. For giving me your set of spirit. At least I forget this. Is the very DNA. The very fire fire of Abba Yahuwah. Is all inclusive. The power of heaven. Power of the earth. And also the power that controls. The link of fire. Is the Ruach HaKodesh. Ribo Santa Labo Sikayaba. Is the cleanser. Our comforter. Our teacher. The very oxygen, the very chemical motion that pulls you on and me also. He is the most lovely part of Abba Yehovah. And again, the very dangerous part of Abba Yehovah is the no-go area. They don't touch me there. The journey of no return. The unpardonable part of Abba Yehovah is the Ruach HaKodesh. That is to say, don't blaspheme and don't put a lie on him. Yes, in this area, Abba Yehovah said, count me out. I won't forgive. Well, every other part you can touch. But when it comes to the Ruach HaKodesh, mm -mm, I won't. Say, see who So be warned. Hallelujah. It's everything you need. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba, once again for giving me your set of spirit. And for giving me your word, King Yahushua HaMashiach. Yes, Abba Yehua, you have been worshipped, praised, honored, loved, served, always, ever, eternal, right in the temple of your eternal handmaid, your very Isha. For you are my Abba, also my eternal husband. I love you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. I just love my Abba. I just love my Abba. I love my bow. I love Yahuwah. I love him. I love him so much. Hallelujah. He's my father. All right, now, family, with this be said, here we are in the heavenly courtroom of Abba Yahuwah. 
with this powerful message title for you and me <laughs> this one is heavy satan loves sex every day everywhere jc that is jesus christ mommy g-o is the female version of justice late dog says perversion devil's wrath should i rebroadcast this one heavy eh? Satan loves sex every day. Jesus Christ movie G.O. is the female version of Justice Lee Dog, Sex, Perversion, Devil's Wrath. This should it, should it have been found in our book. People like this shouldn't have been touching our book at all. It hurts me so bad. It hurts me so, so bad that people like John Slee says touching our book, that people like this Fumila Yo Adeboya or Adeboye uh, Adebayo touching our book. That hurt me so bad. That no so, she no so, the gay man touching our book. John Slee says, friend, touching our book. It hurt me so bad. Her parents in passion for the royal law. But see, people make it big full of it. It hurt me so bad. Heaven knows I'm not lying. If Abayewa is not the one who control his power, if Abayewa just leave his power for me like the days of old in Genesis 3, when he left his power between the women, the woman and the man, uncontrollable, you can use it anyhow you want it. Heaven is my witness. The th these three people, they will not have lived to see today. I will have just take the way, take take the breath of them. I will have just killed them, sleep and don't wake up. You touching our book with your wretched hand, with your filthy hand, it hurt me so bad. But unfortunately, Abiyua controls his power. We pray. He chose the one to answer, and he chose the one he don't want to. Because he's the general overseer of all. Anyways, to his name be all glory. That makes him Abba Yahweh. Yes, we can't change his word. We can't change his ways. We can't change his daily. We can't change his action. And we can't change his judgment. He would do it in his own set apart time. Anyways, formally, let's do the title and preset it. Let's start walking away from this very holy scripture than to every other one. That is Romans chapter 1 verses 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Be understood, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead. So that they are without excuse. He said, the, these very visible ones, visible things, everything we see over here is going to navigate us into the spirit realm. It's going to navigate us into the unseen. It's going to be revealing other part normal eyes can see. It's going to be ministering it unto you and I. So what are we here? We want to look into the title like it says. Okay, should I? Okay, I would like to put this first. Now what am I saying? Why are we here? The physical one, that is you and I, is going to be narrating or navigating you and I into the spirit. The sex perversion. The physical sex perversion. Is going to navigate you into the unseen one. That is the spiritual adultery. This physical one. The spiritual one is the devil loves sex every day. He said devil sex everywhere. And he loves sex every day. And we're going to be getting this account from his ministers. Justice Lee says. And the gay man. Uh, uh, so, and the very Jesus Christ. Mommy Chio. Ah, no. So, first of all, let's hear from her, from the very horse's mouth. All right, before I will, before I would like to play out voice, I would like to put this fair use, you know, disclaimer. I also got it, got this up from our fellow YouTuber. 
in fact sister Mori because uh, we learn from one another because I saw this from her whenever you're gonna be using somebody uh, content or whatever you will put this okay I don't think it's really clear it's like a okay this is it so I would like to play her voice just for a fair use in order for me not to be misquoting her okay ah oh, shit all right is the very Jesus Christ mommy do you want to hear a voice now okay let me start what? let me tell you something I'll deal with Lucifer direct what Lucifer loves most is sexual intercourse did you get that? sex every day I'm not joking you did you know Lucifer used to do marriage with oh, people okay it's okay did you get that? and this is you know in every of their nonsense there, there, there is sexes inside like this one that is for when you are sleeping somebody is having sex, sexual intercourse with you that is a spiritual one when you are sleeping you will see somebody lay with you having this wicked unholy union with you that is it and there is the royal, royal law makes it so clear that sex is his wrath and this woman the daughter of Satan came to, to you know to, to confront that that what he loved the most it is sex it's sex every day so now we put some more all right let's do it <laughs> first Corinthians chapter 6 verses 15 through 20 listen no yet not that your birdies are the members of Mashiach shall I then take the members of Mashiach and make them the members of and high lord this is jesus okay yahuwah forbid the one you call devil that is jesus 16. what no yet not that he which is joined to an high lord is one body for two saith he shall be one flesh so what is sex bringing into you what is sex binding you into what is that John Cicely says says this one is reality is in everywhere his girlfriend faith said she's not even number 80 and this mommy geo that said she even have sex with a, 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 a little child Emmanuel. okay uh, a child of 15 years old they said her daughter grace was even the one who caught her and this is the lady who have four children for four men all her victims, the people she has already victim, uh, victimized, are coming and I listened to eight of them. All eight said she's having this sex perversion, having sex scattering people's marriage. Just like Joseph Slices is doing, she's having sex with her pastors. This summer, the one you call your mommy Jo is having sex with her pastors. She was cut out the marriage, people's marriage. They said she had rent many people. In fact, there was even one old woman, old woman that came out that also narrate. In fact, as I was also narrating her, um, um, narrating her experience, she was still so much afraid of this their momentio because of the spiritual principalities that resident in her for those demons not to be attacking her. If you see how that woman, this woman destroyed that woman's life, a child that thinks she told the girl not to go to school, that if she go to school, she's going to be killed by the occult. Fear for just leave school and go and marry. And that one I found a man and brought it to her. And to her, she had found a man. And this woman that said, yes, God said, this is your husband. Afterwards, this, this is your mommy, Joe, so return back and told that man and said, don't marry this family have nothing to do with them. Her mother is a witch after marriage. Her mother is a witch. It destroyed, it disorganized that girl's life. That girl may have a child, I think, yeah, I have a child for her husband. The man ran away. The woman said she is not the one taking care of the child, the rejected child, and her daughter. Now, what are we saying? 
They some have sex with under age 15 years. Her daughter was even the one who caught her on this unholy heart. For a woman to have sex, to have child for three, four men, some say three, but the other ones, they said that one, they say is a Ghana man. That, that, that is even the first one. That one even took his child and ran away. Maybe that is why people is thinking she had three children with three men. But the very one that knew her to wear said is four children, a four men. Ah, oh, no, this is hurting. Now, this is a woman says Satan looks like she's teaching about condom, how to use condom, condom used. And she's also talking about if you, return, if you die with your virginity, say you go, go straight to hell. This woman says if you die being a virgin, you go straight to hell. And she is a contra contradictor, contradicting herself. That after her boyfriend is virgin, when they did marry, her, she, her body returned back to virgin again. It took her husband 30 or whatever, 30 minutes to penetrate. This woman always talk about nonsense. But people is going to be bringing out what they have for you. That's what is in this Why? Because she's bound with a wicked spirit called High Lot. The devil, the one you call Jesus, which is, is wrath. Listen to everything. But he, that is joined unto Ye uh, Yehua, is one spirit. Yehua is your father. You are his flesh and blood. He's not joining with you in perverse way, but as a father. Relationship of a father. 18. Listen, uh, flee fornication. Every sin that, every other thing you say you should, you know, resist. When it comes to fornication, you say flee. Why? Because it's a very strong covenant of one next. Flee fornication, verses 18, 1 Corinthians 6, 18. Flee fornication. Every other sin a man doeth is without the body. But he that commit fornication sinneth against his own body. How did you sin against your own body? Now I want to put it in two ways. First of all, let's go to the physical marriage here on earth. Revelation, uh, Genesis 18 verses, Genesis 1 verses 18 through 25. Abbe Yehua said, it's not good for the man to be alone. Fear for Abbe Yehua did warn us by taking one rib. Verses 21, he took one rib. And that, the rib now became the origin of the woman. And as soon as that man saw, saw her, Loneliness disappear, incompleteness disappear, uh, uh, singleness disappear, uh, 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 the wounded part healed, and every other thing. And I said, then she shall be called woman, for she is the bone of my bone. Completeness came. Now, physical marriage, like her, her rib, she has not yet found her rib. That is why she became a wounded liar to every other four men. She uh, they have uh, whatever with on earth now because she is another person's rip and when you put that rip into wrong sight which is ma that ma can never receive healing why because it's a wrong rip it's not his own rip he can't now your body have one rules and one regulation that says let me go back to my rib, my side, the side of the man from where I come, from where begins my origin. Let me return back there. That is the rules of your body, say, because you sin against your body. Your body is telling you, say, don't join me with any other side. You can't just come and join me with every side you see on the street. No. I came from specific side. I came from a one side and that one side that is the one I want you to take me to that is the law of your body that is the rules and regulation of your body that is the law of your body and say for you not to sin against me say because you sin against your body you break the rules and commandment of your body your body came from a side of one person don't join me the rip with any other side you just found on the street no if you do that, the mind is going to be in torment because I can't bring healing. I can never bring completeness because I am not the bone of his bone. I'm not the flesh of his flesh. You are doing a great error and a great damages unto me. Your body says, don't join me with the wrong side. 
That is the law of your body. You fornicate here and there. You are just joining that rib to the wrong side. But when you join your body now to the high Lord, sorry. It's going to enslave you. That is the rules of your body. That is what your body says. Now, it says every other sin you commit is outside your body. Lie. When it's coming, say resist, flee. No, resist the devil. The devil is going to flee away. No, resist lies and all, every other one. But when it not come to sexual immorality, say run for your life. Don't join with that wicked deity because it's a very strong covenant of oneness. He said, because he is that joint with high Lord become one body with high Lord. Now take it down to the spirit realm. Now that you refuse to join with the rightful Messiah and you are joining yourself with the unholy Messiah, which is the high Lord, what happened? He also bind you with him. But you're not going to get healing. You are not bringing no healing to him. Neither he is not also bringing healing unto you. You both is going to be in the eternal flame of fire. You both is going to be tortured. You both is going to be tormented. Why? That because you break the rules of your body. He said we are the body of Mashiach. You break the rules of Mashiach's body. And you now go and join the bones and the, the, of Mashiach with another one which is called the High Lord. And all his ministers, his ministry, the testament of the one whom they serve. High lottery. Prostitute everywhere. Sex perversion everywhere. Mommy, your mommy, you will have sex with 15 years old child. She's always into sexual. Not that you cannot teach about sex. Not that you cannot educate people about sex. But do it biblically. Now, what she say? Say, Satan locks sex every day. I'm a testimony. I, I'm, a, I'm a living testimony of that. Because, of course, I'm seeing myself in the dream. Somebody want to bang bang. Timo is coming to join with me. Timo want to enter at me. We see this all over. I hear the testimony all over. It's a very wicked spirit that a devil wants to tie it himself with you. It's a very wicked spirit. Listen. John 19, 34. Like where I quote Genesis 2, 18 through 25. The woman, the bone of the man is the origin of the woman. That is woman. That is who woman is. Now, two of them should still become one. Genesis 5, you're going to see it over the verses 1 and 2. It said, Abba, you what called them Adam. Both of them are Adam. Listen, woman is another he. Listen, John 19, prior to where we just read first Corinthians about sex perversion. John 19, verses 34. But one of the soldiers, with you can take it from 30 to 34, but one of the soldiers with a spear, uh, with a spear, pierced his side, and for with came there out of blood and water. So, the first Adam, his wife came from his side, now spiritually speaking. The second Adam is the entire husband, is the husband of the elect. He's not doing no babagi, stop that nonsense, okay? It is your Jesus is doing that nonsense. As you heard from her, from his minister that he loves her so much every day, everywhere. Now listen, from his side we came because we are his bride. That was the reason why they pierced his side. The side of the first Adam was pierced. There, the bone, one bone was removed and there comes the woman. And as soon as the Ahoshua side was also being pierced, of course the light came from there to build his ministry. Like what I'm doing, I'm building his home. I'm building his ministry. I'm the pillar of Yahushua's ministry. Just as the first woman should be a pillar to build the man. Rather, should not take that pillar and begin to build serpents. No, I'm, as I'm Yahushua's rib, I'm building his house. The pillar, with her pillar, house don't stand. That's what people should have be. That is what the elect is. But now, when you're not joined with the High Lord, you are also building the High Lord's kingdom. You heard from his minister. But you see the law of your body. So you sin against your own body. 
This is how you sin against your body, leading your body to go and be bound with another mass, a, a wrong rip, or another a wrong side that is going to drag you down now with him in fire. Because says simply me, covenant of oneness. That is why I think you are sometimes relate with us as a husband, call himself a husband. And we see Matthew 25, Yahushua said the bridegroom call himself a husband. The sons of Solomon, that is what it's all about, the relationship of a husband and a wife. Hosea, we also say, Abbe, you will call himself a husband, that we are his wife. And we also see that again in Isaiah, he also he said, I'm your husband. We also see that again in Jeremiah 3, verses 11. He said, come unto me, bastard, like the children, for I am married unto you. So the relationship, Abbe, your wife is building with his own people is like that of a husband and a wife. Then, Ah, now, you're perverting our book to suit your wicked narrative. Now, where we just write? <laughs> ah, now, when I see these people touching our book, because they are misquoting our book, they are turning our book upside down. I see them in different ways. It's even Justice Lee says, ah, you know, where did a gay man with a woman? We'll come into that. We are still on it. I still have one more to go. Let me not rush it. and Let me not, you know, put things... You know, messed up the whole matter. Listen, where we just read John 19, verses 34. It said, When they pierced his side, blood and water came. What, what is that for? Blood is life. Leviticus says so. Leviticus, I think, 17 says so. Blood is life. That is where the life comes. That is where the life comes. The one is water. People. Revelation 17, what? And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great hall that sitteth upon many waters. What is waters now? 15. 15 verses 15. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest where the hall sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So you see where the water came. That is where we also came out from. When Yahushua side was being pierced. So if you came from the side. Let me tell you. If you come from the side of the devil. Fear for you are going to be one with him eternal. You cannot heal the Yahushua side. And if you came from Yahushua side. You cannot heal the devil side. You are going to be sinning against your own body. That is going to drag you down to the eternal link of fire. That is how you sin that against your own body. Your body has rules and regulations. And said I came from a side of one deity. I came from a side of one husband. And don't journey with the high lord. This is the rules of my body. Don't, sit, don't, don't fornicate. No. Don't join me with another man's side. I'm going to be a disaster unto him. I will never give him healing. Give him healing. That is why you see some women that became their terror unto their husband. Why? Because she's a wrong rape for the wrong side. He can suit. He can bring healing. He can bring deliverance. He can bring joy. No complete merada. is going to be boza and boza and boza all the time. It's going to be cataract. It's going to be two enemy in one camp. They're going to be one master. They're going to be master, master. This one will not bow, the other one will not bow because it's two men in the house. She is another man's born. She can never be submit to where she never come from. This is how you sin against your own body. Sex perversion. Let's go now to the spiritual sex perversion or, the, or rather the spiritual adultery. The very one I'm saying, he said Jesus loves sex. Jesus is the devil. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the Satan. And he loves sex. Is sex every day. Are you going to be attested to that? Can you attest to that? That you, nobody without that vision. You will see devil bambanging you in the, in the dream. Nobody. Everybody have that experience, including me. It's a wicked binding of oneness. He that joins himself with an high lord, you will become one body. It's a very strong covenant of cutting blood. You know, Justice Suleiman is, is a Muslim. All the character he, he has youth he displayed is the testament of Quran. And uh, your mommy Jew is a Christian, okay? Christian and Muslim, they are one body, they are of one goal. Revelation 70 verses 30. I think more talk, talk is going to be done also today. There are so many scriptures. So many scriptures. Listen now, verses 30. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength 
unto the beast. This have one mind. The animal kingdom have one mind. These are the beast kingdom. These are the uh, satanic kingdom that is joining with people, both spiritually and physically, sexually, to make you one with them. These are the kids. They say they have one mind. Both the female and the male, they have one mind. Both because she is the you know female version of Joseph Suleiman. But they have one mind. The spirit that resident in them is of one goal. Yes, they are agreeing to be doing this, you know, to bind you with them. So let's take post some. We are going to the spiritual now fornication. Prior to the title, sex is the devil's wrath. Revelation 18 verses 33. For all nations have drunk, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the Mashonites of the earth are washed rich through the abundance of her uh, delicacies. Now listen. What did they say? The old earth. This devil is bambagging you spiritually. He said he make the entire world, you know, to get drunk. You, 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 are, you now you are a drunkard in fornication. He said, Jesus said, devil loves sex every day. And this is a spiritual one. The very one that manifests in Jesus carries both the man and the woman testimony has already been completed. The mass is living in it, just as listen. And the woman confess that. When woman carry this madness, it's tough. Now he said the whole earth becomes so rich, became so rich through this nonsense. So the earth is filled with sexual immorality, is filled with bargain of the devil, is filled with oneness of the devil. That is why they are of one goal. Whether you are Islam, Sivorula, Pega. Whatever it is, whatever, whatever you are, as far as you do, you don't, you are not doing, you are not under the royal law governing system. Fearful, you are one sexually. This, this is what is going on in the spirit realm. Revelation fourteen verses eight, and they followed, and they followed, and they, excuse me, and they followed another angel, saying, Babylon is folly, is folly, the great city, because. She made all nations, not some part, all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of our fornication. So now the wrath of Abiyawa is to put you inside fire, is to cast you into, into fire. There is this wrath. But the wrath of this wicked deity is sex. Why? Because it is covenant. It simply means blood cutting of oneness eternal. That is why in the royal law, when, you, when a wife commits adultery, she must be stunned to death. The penalty is death. Why? Because spiritually, she killed the man she caught covenant with. Spiritually, she break covenant of oneness. Spiritually, she went to kill that one in order. Because it's only one man you caught covenant for. You can't cut for two now. Because as soon as she commit adultery, she killed that one spiritually, the first one. And the very one she joined with now sexually, is the new one she entered into agreement with. So for that man to die, therefore that is why the woman needs to be stoned. You will use your whole head to carry your death. The man is innocent, he can't die. In like manner, the man, when you commit adultery, you kill the woman. Like John C. Sule says, penis is everywhere. He, she, he has already killed his legal wife called Liz, uh, John C. She is dead. That one is dead already. Because each time he enter into any other vagina, vagina is a holy of holies that must be worshipped. It's a kind of a, you know, of course, deity that needs to be worshipped. Anyone that enter there, you become the new high prince. So every other one will be contaminated. Exactly the same method that they was using. Hmm? So why is sex is the wrath of the folly deities? Because they vow in their mind. That is the institution of sex. Anyone that entered you become one body. Even the scientists, the secular world also have this mystery. They say when a man has sex with you, their semen can suffer a lifetime. Their semen is going to remain inside of you. 
That is why it's the strongest sin. This is the most strongest sin according to the royal law. They said this mass sima, which is the mass sperm, is going to last for life in you. So how many men have you lived with? How many men sima or sperm inside of you you carry? That is an abomination. That is an abomination. Now, Revelation chapter 17, verses 1 through 5. I'm going to be jumping over. We come back here again. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me, saying, Come unto me, hither. Uh, 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 say unto me, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great hall that sitteth upon many waters. Verses 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have made drunk with the wine of a fornication. You are a drunkard in sex. Five. So he carried me. See where this your Jesus lived. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I, wilderness, and I saw a woman sat upon scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven L's, heads, and horns form. And the woman was enraged. Okay, I'm going to be living this. Okay, no problem. And the woman was enraged in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a goldy cup in her hand full of blasphemies, full of abominations, excuse me, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. This is your holy communion you are taking from these people. Verses 5. Here is my concern. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the murder of high lords and abominations of the earth. So high lords is the abominations of the earth. What is head? Head simply means your leader. First Corinthians chapter 11 verses 3. Is the chance of order your leader? The name of your leader is on your forehead, and this your leader is a prostitute. It be a gear. Satan sex every day, everywhere. Says the carrier of Jesus. Jesus is the Satan, and Satan is the Jesus. That's it. Your forehead, the, your head is your is your leader, and what is on your the forehead of your leader? Mystery. That is his name. Jesus is a mystery. But when he revealed in Islam, you're going to know who is this your Jesus. That is the devil utterly. I'm saying it now. You are not believing it. All his ministers. The testament of Jesus in all his ministers is revealed. All of them. From one nonsense into another nonsense. From one stupidity into another stupidity. So, is a mother. Necessarily, he's not speaking of woman. He said he's the mother of Hilot. He's not talking of woman. He's talking of a functioning system. That is organization that is bringing birth as a woman do. Organization that is so fruitful as a woman do. That is what he meant. It's a system. It's the beast system. Revelation 12, 12. I read. Fear for rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having what great wrath. What is his wrath? Sex. If you see the abomination oh, now, if you see what is coming for you, you are seeing the spiritual. But the sex market in Islam is about to be manifested. They are of one goal, the goat empire, the animal's kingdom. <clears throat> Let's see, having great wrath. Because, having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. You don't see what they are doing to little children. Islam said, <coughs> Old Maka Kamari one year old baby. He said, If she had the capacity to carry the man with away, he said, The man can penetrate her. He can rightly penetrate her. You don't see how sex everywhere is the wrath. Of the devil. What is this wrath? It's a great one. <laughs> what is this wrath? It says perversion. Now Revelation 14. Okay, I think I'm gonna be ready, but I'm running out of I'm really running out of time. <laughs> and I still have much scripture. Revelation 14, verses 8 and 9. We are back here again. We see the wrath of the devil already is sex, okay. Spiritual fornication. That is the one you are see in the spirit where somebody's bambanging you. And the spiritual one is more 
Ah oh, no, ah oh, no, ah oh, no, serious. Because you you will be blind. Who is gonna lose you? Listen. Nine. And the third angel followed them, saying, or say with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive the ma his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yehovah, which is poured out without mystery, that is fine, okay, into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Listen now. Penis is to worship vagina. Vagina is to worship penis. Did you get that? When you leave your door unshut, you leave your life unkept, and the devil is able to penetrate you with his penis, he goes nowhere. Like all this Sunday madness, like all this paganism, all this worldly nonsense, it's because the whole earth is got drunk with the wine of her fornication. He has already pinned you down. You know what it is to pin something down? You know what it is when a man overpowers a woman, he penetrates you. You goes nowhere. You goes nowhere. Not the one the man is doing later after he has released his penis will go down. This one goes down not because you are one with him. It's pinned. You are be pinned already. And that's what you are seeing. And we hear that from the minister of Jesus confirming what the scripture says. All right now, I only have. I will return back to this message again. Honestly, it's a message of all time. I'm coming right back to it. Okay. So now I only have six minutes to go. I think it's only going to be talking, talking, talking. Now, why is the sign of Yahushua coming? It's the days of Noah and in the days of Lot. Luke chapter 17, verses 26 through 32. It said we should learn from Job's wife. Okay. We said we should remember just what we should remember Sodom and Gomorrah, homosexuality. Just listen, it's also homosexuality. Now, Genesis 3, verses 3. And, uh, oh, okay, Genesis chapter 3, chapter 6 through 8, and chapter 19. Then you're going to find what was going on. The sons, the folly deity that came into marital covenant in Genesis chapter 6, and now begin to have sex with women. And women are beginning to bring forth children that is called giant for them to devour the humanity, if I to devour the elect. And that was what Abba Yuwa, first of all, brings flood judgment. It's coming back again. So then in Gomorrah, what happened? Sex perversion. What was going on? The homosexuality. What was going on? there? sex everywhere. According to the book of Yashir, these people will just erect their bed on the streets. Like the one we are, they are doing to the prostitution. They would, you know, there are four judges, you know, legalize it. That is what we are seeing today. Red light everywhere. Sex acts everywhere. 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 Everywhere, this thing is happening already. Is what is going on spiritually is manifesting already physical, and the physical is going to be navigated into the spiritual. Into the spiritual, in fact, the spiritual is even, is even more deadly because so they're going to blind your eye for you not to see what they are doing, how they are messing up your body, the man, how they are messing up your anus, how they are messing up your penis, the little hole in your penis, how are they messing it up, the little hole in your uh, uh, anus, how are they messing it up, including the woman, listen now, this phone care, no, for me liar, no, for care, excuse me, this for me liar, this Jesus Christ mommy, G.O., some of uh, uh, there's no room to play it. Maybe the other one I'm gonna do, I will be playing the video. He, some of our victims said she's producing all year for herself, all year of her own, and they said she will sell it for them and she will tell the women to use that all year to pray and not their two nipples and also and not their clitoris. Clitoris that is where the sex sensation is. He said, What well, they will pray and anoint their clitoris and anoint their two breasts for a man not to have sex with them in the dream. But this lady said, Each time she used that anointing to anoint her two nipples and to anoint a clitoris, man always come to bang bang her in the dream. If she don't use it, nobody will do that to her. But as soon as she use it, he said, she will, she will see a man bang bang her. 
have a sexual intercourse with her whenever she used that oil. Maybe I'm going to be playing it in the other video. But this one, there's no room. I only have four, three minutes to go. Oh, my father. Okay, let me just put the scriptures. There's nothing I can do. This is also in everywhere in our scripture. Now, Exodus 7, Exodus chapter 7, verses 8. Why did Abbe Yawa strike the rivers, river, river now? Why? Because, because Pharaoh always masturbates in, into that river. He said the river, Abba Yawa, first of all, attacked. Oh, should I just leave this alone? Okay, it's Abba, because Abba Yawa, first of all, attacked that river. According to history, Pharaoh and all his princes will go to that river and to masturbate them. Egyptian worship, worship vagina. Remember, Ishmael is an Egyptian, the progenitor of Islam. They are coming to rule. They are the great wrath. If you see what is coming, says perversion. Oh, no. There's room. Is there room for this? Now the river turn blood. Who we'll live inside that river? This is the one they are burning you with whenever you have fornication, spiritually, physically. This is what this is what you are binding with. Because this demon lives inside the river, the one that is coming now. Okay. Isaiah chapter 27, verses 1. It said the crooked serpent, the Leviathan, the red dragon lives in the sea. And I bet you what wounded his head right in the sea. That was why the sea turned blood. Because he wounded the sea, he hide inside the river. This is the one they are dragging in you into sex perversion. When your leader becomes sex addict, if he's not joining with only his wife, he's joining you with this demon that lives in the river. Okay. Ezekiel 29. Zechariah, Ezekiel 29 verses 3. You're going to see the river there. Second Kings chapter 2. Oh no. Verses 19 through 22. Oh my father. What is water? Water simply means other people or words of Abba Yehovah or, or the Holy Spirit. So there is on Holy Spirit that dwells inside the water that was killing people. Okay. You will see the Revelation 12 verses 9. That is the red dragon. Okay. It lives in the river that deceived the whole world. The authority of Pharaoh. Genesis 3 is the serpent again. He said that old serpent. Okay. J uh, John 7 37 through 40. Yahushua said, If you believe in me, water is going to overflow. He said he means the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 5. 26 to 27, that is the word of Abba Yehovah. John 15, 3, that is the word of Abba Yehovah. Revelation 17, again, 1, water 15, again. Genesis 39, you see Joseph fled away. Okay, Joseph fled away. Red Sea is flash fire sea. Red Sea, it is flash fire sea. Revelation 20, verses 10 through 15. Revelation 14, okay, you're going to see it there. The book of Yahshua, chapter 44, verses 47 through 80. This is where Joseph fled away. Okay, wrong for Islam. When Pharaoh's wife, uh, Potiphar's wife, wanted to seduce him. The book of Yahshua, 71, verses 1 through 3. Ah, uh, no, I could elaborate on this. This is what they were doing in Egypt, having sex with a married woman. 